Hi and welcome. In this problem we've got a decimal and we're told that it equals 6.21 times 10 to some power. Right, so this is 10 to some power. We don't know what the power is and, and in fact by power of course I mean the exponent here. This is the unknown. So in this problem we're actually asked to, to find an unknown exponent. And here's our, our coefficient right here. So the question is, how do we actually find that unknown? What do we do? Well, really, this is a question about scientific notation. And in scientific notation, this unknown variable x tells us how many places to move our decimal point and our coefficient. So you can picture that originally, the point, the decimal, is between the 6 and the 2. So it's right here. And then now, when we multiply it by 10 to some power, in fact, we can think of the decimals being moved back all the way over here. That's one, two, three, four, five places to the left. So what power or what exponent would move a decimal place five places, one, two, three, four, five to the left? Well, that's division by 10. Every time you divide by 10, you move a decimal to the left once, right? One place. So five moves, right, to the left, that would mean you divide it by 10 five times. And the way to show that for an exponent is to use the negative fifth power. So this is really equal to 6.21 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that, of course, means take this decimal and move it to the left five times. And when you do that, you will get 0 0.0000621. That's the basic idea. Now again, you know, you might want to go back in other videos and look at this, but, but negative exponents mean division, right, by 10. So this means div division by 10 five times. It has nothing to do with a negative or positive number. A negative exponent is an operation. It's division, whereas a positive exponent would be multiplication. So for example, let's just flip this around. What if they had said to you that 6, 2, 1 right? And then 0, 0 equals 6.21 times, this is multiplication, 10 to the x power. Well, now what would you do? Well, since the decimal has moved all the way over here, they don't write it, but it is here. It moved from here, 6.210, over 1, 2, 3, 4 times to the right. Now, well, your decimal moves one place to the right, whenever you multiply by 10. So this time it would be multiplied by 10 five times, right? The decimal move to the right five times. So here it's 6.21 times 10 to the fifth, right? It's a positive power. And that gives us 62100. Zero, zero. So that's the general nature of these questions, and I hope it, it gets you started on dealing with a variable for an exponent in scientific notation. For more practice on scientific notation, check out our videos. We've got a bunch. I think you'll enjoy them. All right, well, thanks a lot.